The year 2021 must be the year of the crayon for me because today we are going to be playing around with these confetti crayons made by the same brand that actually made the 15 and 64 color crayon, Kid Made Modern. Not a sponsor somehow. Either way, I say we just get into it and start doodling with these crayons. Ta-da! There are our 12 confetti crayons. We have these 12 color themed crayons that are a mix of a variety of colors. We have our purple, we have a red, a pink, orange, yellow, yellow, green, green, light blue, blue, brown, a black, and a multiple color one, which looks so colorful and fun. And I'm actually really excited, obviously, to swatch these 12 crayons. Not surprisingly, something that's multicolored is gonna look a little, you know, barfy mixed together. Next up is our black and grays. We've got our browns, our blue, our light blue, our green, light green. Ooh, we've got some nice little turquoise in there. Continuing on to our yellow, which looks like it has a little bit of light green in it maybe. Oh, the orange is really interesting. We have orange, peach, we have a pink in here, we have a dark orange, we have a bright orange. There's actually quite a bit happening in this one, which is really fun and unpredictable. Next up is our, what is this, our pink. Second to last, we have our red theme, which is again, very pink heavy. And our last color, we have purple, starting off very dark and very purple. Actually, I wanna see if I can make a nice sort of like rainbowy, oh no, that started off not red. I was gonna see if I could get a nice rainbowy gradient between the colors. I do like, instead of just having a completely perfect gradient from red, orange, yellow, green, blue to purple, I do like having these random colors mixed in. It really is just, it's nice. The unpredictability, the sort of just like splash of a purple in there is really nice. I actually quite like that. I actually, wow, I actually really enjoyed this rainbow. I think it turned out really fun. I think the random colors just add variety, a little spice, a little flavor. I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun with these crayons and I wanna start doodling. Let's get into it. Y'all know the drill. You know I'm probably gonna sit here and create a circle illustration, a square illustration, and a triangle illustration. So let's just... Let's just get into it. So unlike my previous crayon videos, I actually don't want to do any sort of line work with a pen. I just want to come in here with crayon, like I'm a kid again, and just create art as if, you know, I'm a kid and just play around with this art supply. In my mind, I pictured this cat as black, but I forgot these crayons are multicolored. So this is going to be a sort of black and gray calico cat maybe or something. Yes, I love that playful little foot. It's just so cartoony and so silly. Give him a little booty. Oh, I just realized the sketch doesn't have a tail. Gotta give him a tail. All right, how well is this black gonna write? Oh, nice. Okay, cool. You know, we've got a lot of interesting texture, but it's really cute. Oh gosh. Okay, okay, I really like it. I like it so far, okay. Now maybe I should be coloring this in a swirly pattern just to give the bush a little bit more of a, like a fluffy look maybe with the colors. Something about crayons just makes me wanna scribble and be a kid. Oh, I love that dookie green color. Look at that dookie green color. Are you even looking? It's great. We love a dookie green color here on the Casey Golden channel. We love it. Ah! No! My crayon! No! <laughs> I guess that's the problem when you have a bunch of little chunks that are just melted together, but not melted. Oh no! All right, Um, those tree trunks are very interesting for sure. Let's see what putting down hmm, the tree will be like. I'm just gonna go in circles for this one. Oh, interesting. Oh, wow, it almost looks shaded. All of the light color was on top and all of the dark on the bottom. Okay. So far, this illustration is just very earthy and green and I think it's really fun. There's a lot of different textures happening. I like it. I think it's really cute, but I think we need to give it a sky. 
Okay, I think that's gonna be it for our darker blue. And then I'm going to move on to our lighter blue. Which already kind of seems darker, but that's okay. That's totally cool. You know what? I think this actually turned out really cute. I think the textures are fun. I love the variety in the color. It really exaggerates the texture and shapes of some of these. I think it's a lot of fun. I, sometimes the unpredictability of the color can be a little sad, especially where I thought we were gonna get light blue, it got darker, but that's okay. I still think this one turned out really cute. Let's do another one. Okay, this time we are going to work with a square shape. And I'm not gonna measure. I think it's really fun when the shapes are a little more hand-drawn and just loose feeling. All right, we'll start off with our kitty. I think it would be really cute to have the cat in all of these illustrations, sort of like storytelling, just seeing where the cat goes or what the cat's up to. Oh man, okay, I think this one's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, now the previous illustration was definitely circle-based and this one is definitely not square-based, but that's okay. I think I'm just really excited to draw a really crazy rainbow and just scribble the colors and have fun with it. Oh God, I love how chunks just, just fall off. They just, they're just like, yeah, I'm done being on this crayon. I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna like go. I'm just going to eject myself off of this crayon and um, you know, see what's out there in the world. And I'm like, all right, we'll enjoy the trash can, I guess. Cause that's where you're going. Right in the trash can. I'm not sure how I feel about how light the green is when the sky is also so light. So I'm gonna try to add some dark green in here. Just like darken up some spots here and there, make it stand out just a little bit better not too much against that dark kitty. Maybe once the cat is dark, it'll be a little bit better. I love how these illustrations give off, you know how like if when you're watching a movie and they're like, oh look, a kid drawing, but clearly an adult drew something that they tried to make look like a kid drew. That's definitely what the vibe of these crayons gives. You can obviously tell, well, I hope you can, <laughs> that an adult drew this illustration, but it kind of looks like obviously I was going for like a childlike quality of the drawing. I think crayons will definitely do that, but overall it's just, it's very cute. I like it. I've really been enjoying using crayons lately. Not really sure, whoa, whoa. This got really muddy and disgusting really fast. Okay, all that's left to do on this illustration is to just kind of go crazy. And I want to create a, this is an asteroid falling to the sky, so I thought it would be really fun to make it like a rainbow of color just coming off of this asteroid. So, oh my gosh, this would be really good for fire, this yellowy orange mix. Oh man. Do I even need to put yellow down? That orange was more yellow than anything. Ah! Oh no! Not again. They always break in the same points too, it seems. Oh my gosh, this one is so, oh my God, this, this illustration is so fun. I absolutely love it. Yep, I think this one so far between the two is my favorite. It's just, it just really, I feel like, is everything crayons are all about. It's just, it's scribbly, it's colorful, it's messy, but it's cute. You can see there's a narrative. It's just, I really like this one. I think this one was a lot of fun. Let's do a third and final piece. Our next shape is, you guessed it, a triangle. I think this one is going to be a little different than the others. Now, when I see some of these colors, I can't help but think of space. So I want to do a space illustration, but I'm really not, hmm, I'm not really sure how to go about this one. Uh, as you can see, I've sketched nothing and I don't really have an idea in my head. I, I kind of, I kind of know a little bit of what I want to do, um, but not a hundred percent. So we're just going to, we're gonna wing this one. <gasps> purple. 
Okay, you know what? <laughs> I hope these two colors aren't too, too similar. Because then the rings are gonna blend in. Just trying to give the planet some texture. Not getting as many variations in the color of the crayon that I would like. This is, um, this is Planet Barbie, apparently. It's so pink. Doug! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, that always scares me. Oh my god. Curse my heavy handedness. Um, I don't mind this, the, uh, the color, the color of the planet is fine. It's just the rings are not fine. The rings are not fine. Wow, just, just look at that texture, would ya? Let's just throw our cat <laughs> just floating over here outside of the frame. Very tiny. There he is. There's our cat <laughs> just floating off in space. Okay, definitely I think we're going to use the two blues. I might use the dark green and of course the black for space. So, um, yeah, let's get into it. Coloring space is something I really enjoy doing with watercolor because colors blend well with watercolor. I'm a little nervous about making space with crayons because I've never done it before. And something tells me it's not going to be that easy. Just scribble, 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 scribble. That is the key, I think. Just keep scribbling. Oh wow, I didn't expect to get such a clean line between the black and the purple of the planet. Wow. I was expecting that to be a lot more blurry than it actually is. I, I was saying how watercolor space is easy to do because it's just, it's a lot easier to gradient I guess watercolor together, but honestly, I had so much fun with the texture of this space. The blank spots of paper between the crayon look like stars, love that. I think I'm going to try to mix in just a little bit of purple, just to tie in the color of space with the planet. And just because I think a black space is a little bit boring, I think it's nice if you add a little bit of dark purple to space just to make things a little bit more colorful, a little bit more fun. Uh, let's have this ring back here sort of fade also into the blackness. Ooh, whoa, whoa. I didn't expect that to, whoa. Okay, <laughs> I didn't expect that black to cover. I think black is probably the best crayon. It seems to do really well. Um, I didn't expect it to cover that much. And oh my God, that gradient is, oh my God, that, it just looks so, it just, <laughs> it just looks so good. I feel like adding a couple of blue planets here and there might just tie in a little bit more blue. So we'll add like a blue planet here. And the multicoloredness of these crayons really helps with making these look like planets. And should we give these planets a moon or two? Oh my gosh, this, this one got really messy. There, there are just crayon crumbs everywhere. Honestly, I think this one might be my favorite. I just love the simple color palette. I really love the layering and the gradient and the mix of colors. I just love the way the black just made that disappear and made this really nice gradient. This one's simple and it might be my favorite. Of course it is. And I think that is that. And that is that for the confetti crayons. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And as usual, thank you so much to my patrons for supporting me. If you want early access to my videos, secret sketches, whips, and more, check out the link to my Patreon in the description. Thank you guys all seriously so much for your continuous support. And with that, stay golden. Bye.